you were you mentioned uh, you, you were on the team 2007 that was your last year with the, with the team uh, that was also the year you guys were on hard knocks and uh, there was a very memorable episode one somebody voiced their displeasure of being on the second floor which happened to be you yeah. was yeah. that blown out of proportion on tv or were you really upset about the whole situation oh no i was pissed i, I was absolutely i was absolutely pissed and the the crazy part is you know, we usually have you know uh, room assignments uh, every single year and so I've, I've i've always had the first room on the first floor and coach Ramil gave me that and so that's just where I was. You know, everybody knew it. Everybody knew it. And Coach, Coach, and here's the funny part. Coach gave me the first floor room because he's just like, Jason, look, I know you're going to try to sleep in at the very last minute, all right? So I want you to get all your rest in, okay? And I want you to be the first one to get out of the room when you have to, when, you know, when it's fast. So that was one of the things. So I was I was thankful for that because Coach real knew me. He, he, he did. He, he knew me. You know, he just t- he would just tickle at me, and I, I just love Coach Mill for it. But when I came up to camp, and I'm going to my room, right? I, I already knew I, you know, it's always the guys that's coming in new, or somebody trying to find out whether they're on the second floor, third, or fourth floor. And and I'm like, I'm looking at my key. It's like two something, two. I'm like, two, what is this? Oh, I must have picked up the wrong package, right? So I go back. And the front desk is like, hey, Jason, look, I, I don't know what to tell you. Like, this is what the assignments are. I'm like, are you serious? He's like, yeah. So I'm like, oh, heck no, nah, this ain't gonna happen. So I, I leave. So I go straight to the, the coach's dorm, right? Straight over to the coach's dorm. And so go to the coach's dorm. It was kind of funny because it seemed like it was just set up. Well, I, you know, the cameras were everywhere. That yeah. Was it was just so it was it was really uh, uncomfortable because the camera was just was up. So it seemed like it was almost kind of like a setup in a sense, like they just always wanted that juicy coverage, juicy coverage of things. So I go over, I come and I knock on the coach's door in that meeting. So you know, all the coaches are in there, you know, talking, you know, getting ready for and I come in, I'm like, hey, hey, JD, what's going on? I'm like, no, nah, I'm good, I'm good. Herm, can I talk to you real quick? You know, yeah, yeah, JD, wait here, yeah, just wait for us. I'll be right out there. I said, all right. So I come out. And so I wasn't the only one. So it was me. Uh, Jared Allen was another guy. Jared, Jared uh, was out there too. Uh, he's just like, man, I don't understand it. So I, I don't think they didn't capture that part of him being out there, being upset about his room at, at the time. But I know wow. I'm like, look, I don't I look, I don't I don't earn my stripes. There's no question. I am not gonna be on the second floor. So Herm comes out, canvas is on us. I'm like, yo, Harm, what's the deal? Like, <laughs> they said, these are the room assignments, and they got me on the second floor. My room is always the first first room on the first floor. It hasn't changed since I've been here in you know, Kansas City uh, in the past eight years. Well, JD, you know, I you know, I was just thinking that, you know, you know, you're not practicing, you know, because I was hurt because in my back, you know, you're not practicing, and so. You know, you, you 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 don't really have to do anything. So I was just going to kind of give the first floor to the guys that are practicing. I said, wait a minute, hold on, her <laughs> time out. First off, those guys practicing, they will be so blessed to get to where I'm at. Okay, a guy that's been here 11 years. These guys that have been here two or three years. I don't care about their legs. They got young legs. They got young legs, and I don't even care if I'm practicing or not. These right here are stripes. Earned. That's my privilege. I am a first floor guy. That is that it's not even a, a debate. I said, man, shoot, you, you should know this. Being a coach, you should know that. That a guy earns his stripes. You wouldn't do anything like that. You wouldn't accept anything like that. He's like, yeah, JD, but I was just thinking, man. Look, I tell you what. He said, I know we got in this. We was trying to work out I think Larry's deal at the time and stuff like that. Oh, just yeah, that's me. right. Larry, I said, Well, Larry ain't even here. And he's got a first a first floor. So you're trying to appease him. But yeah, I'm here, I'm not practicing, and you give me a second floor. So he's like, JD, he said, look, man, I'll tell you this. He said, man, he said, I promise you, as soon as you start practicing, man, I'll give you your first floor and stuff like that. I said, no, I said, I don't know. So we was back and forth at it, but I was getting on him more. So we, they took a lot out of it, yeah. you know, because they had me kind of getting on him a lot, right? Oh, man. And so 
I was like, look, man, I said, look, I'm gonna tell, I'm gonna talk to you about this every single day, every single day until I'm on, I'm on the first floor. Seriously. I said, you know, you're wrong, Herm. You know, you're wrong for this. He said, Jake, I, I get it. So I know you try to work some things out, but I was yeah. pissed. I did. Matter of fact, I'll tell you this. When I went back to our dormitory, I refused to go get in my room. Matter of fact, I called home because I was going to take a flight. I was going to leave. I was about to leave uh, training camp because of that. Oh, wow. Yeah. But I, that was uh, that was me and my emotion, pissed yeah. off, me and my pride, my you know. And so what I did was I was like, you know what? I had my brother. My brother was talking. One of my oldest brothers was talking to me. He said, look, man, I get it. I understand. Look, just... You know, just maintain what you have to do and, you know, just, you know, bite the bullet, bite the bullet for it. So, so thank God for him for talking me down because I was on a flight from Minnesota back home to Kentucky. That's where I was. That's where I was headed until they got a, 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 a situation like that. See, and that's just where I guess when, when you get, uh, you know, that privilege in you, you know, just like I, that's my expectation. Well, yeah, anybody would have been pissed. So, yeah, I, I was hot. I was absolutely pissed absolutely pissed and everybody knew it you know all the guys on they say oh shit you know jd's pissed he is hot and so yeah i don't think a whole lot of guys had any rest man because I, I was i was up a storm on, on during that time uh but i uh i settled with it and i said you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna be on my own program i'm gonna get my body right i'm gonna get to where i need to be uh and then you know, I don't even I don't even want to be on the first floor. I don't even want to be on the first floor anymore. Now my mindset now I'm 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 in a whole different warrior mindset now. So that's where I was at.